Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my garage. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and got lots of fishing gear. I'm really happy to get this video out. Sorry it's a little late, but I really didn't think I'd have a chance to even get a video done between Christmas and New Year's, so pretty stoked to be able to get this done. And today's video, as the title probably alludes to, I haven't figured that part out yet, I got a new mold. Yeah. So this is called the Freestyle Jig, and it reminded me of those VMC uh, Moon Face Jig, I think they're called. And reminded me so much that I'm actually gonna try something I haven't done in a very long time on this video, and that's gonna be hand tying some, uh, some deer hair to one of these and seeing how that works out. Now, the camera angles for a video like this always a little strange. I'm never quite sure, you know, where to put the camera and give you guys a good shot. But I'm going to try my best and uh, play with one of my new Christmas presents. So, join me. Alright, so I got my mold sitting on top of the lead pot. Let that get heated up real nice. Uh, always pours better. And I got my little uh, setup here going. The last thing I made was some net heads. And you can see that's the uh, that's the poor man's uh, screen viewer there with my iPad. But I got some hooks laid out. I got some one aughts, two aught, three aught, and four aught, which is going to make three sixteenths, quarter ounce, five sixteenths, and three eighths ounce of these little jig heads here. So once that gets nice and warm, I'll come back to you guys, and we'll start making some jigs. All right, again, sorry for the glare and the kind of wonky camera angle here, but you guys are gonna join me on my first pour of this mold. And what's cool about these do it molds is that it's got everything written right in there as to what size hook goes with what size lead. And I'll probably speed some of this up. So you guys don't have to watch me struggle with these little things. Got those loaded up. Mold closed is nice and tight. I'm just gonna be filling these first four holes here. Let's see how the first pour on this new mold goes. Alright. They look pretty great, guys. Not bad at all. Alright, so I'm gonna demold these that. Oh, that's going to catch so many fish. Cut off the sprue here. And that cut off pretty clean. Might not need to even file these, which is good because as I say that, I don't see my file. But that is gonna look great once we get some color and an eye on that. So I'm gonna make a few more. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm gonna make a few more. And I'm gonna make a few without this little uh, plastic keeper on it, because I have a plan.
Okay, I think for this next part, I'm gonna switch over to the chest camera. I think that might be the best camera angle to give you. Um, never ever done this on camera before, so I'm really not sure. So I hope you appreciate the craft and forgive the camera angles. Okay, well that's it guys, finished product time. I've even already got it tied onto a rod, and the next time I go fishing, I'm gonna see if this bad boy catches some fish. Now I can also use it uh, rigged up with just a paddle tail, or maybe a straight tail fluke kind of thing, but I really wanted to try tying on the deer hair. It reminded me of those BMC, I think they're called Moonface jigs, and they've got this hair tied to them, so I really wanted to give that a shot. Thanks for tuning in to another one, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. And, uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys next year.